Coming up in this video, we go three wide into turn three. And we try out Grand Valley Highway for the first time. Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Positions for Practice. In our final race that is going to be at the Red Bull Ring, we are starting in second. So let's see how we get on. Coming up to turn 1, it's not the best corner for myself or Pruskov in front. As he sends himself wide and we enter the corner quite slowly, giving Mizu behind a good run on us. don't want to go three wide into turn two. We didn't break hard enough for this corner, so we actually ended up losing a position to Mizu. Oh my god, that was... What's up? Okay, so was... And coming into turn four, I get it all wrong here, and I bump oh. into Mizu, which then in turn creates a domino effect. That's my fault. And bumps into Prusikov, sending him wide and allowing people behind to catch up and we end up losing a position. So, all sorts of chaos. Oh, he's just sent it up the inside. So, this is just the start of a race-long battle with Goose, battling for position. As unfortunately, I decide to follow his line. We both got one there. What are you doing? Heading up to the top of the hill now, as we approach the corner, Sai and Goose are having a small battle between themselves. This unfortunately cost Goose a bit of time, and we capitalise on it. I'm going to get probably overtaken by two cars here. And as we serve our penalty, uh, Goose behind us has a penalty as well, so we actually only end up losing one spot. Heading into turn one, we're waiting for one of the two cars in front to make a mistake. Just like sided there, didn't get the best exit, so we are waiting to pounce on that. Heading up to turn three, and we end up going three wide, which ultimately ends up slowing us all down. Now props to Sai here, who has half second penalty, but he is still fighting his cause. He's still backing himself. Had nowhere to go, then, which was annoying got half a second while you're trying to block me. As he lunges up the inside on Jockey here and manages with a bit of contact to make the move stick. To be fair, go on. Size giving it a good go. But all that fighting that he's done unfortunately isn't worth anything as he loses spots to Jockey and myself. Well, that's a penalty for Jockey, I think. Yep. As we're heading up to turn one here, we break a little bit early as we don't want to go into the back of Jockey. And Sai seizes his chance and sends it up the inside on us. And again, those two are fighting at turn three, so we're trying our best to capitalise on the situation. However, Sai sends himself a little bit wide, which slows us down. To counter this, we're going to position ourselves on the outside of the track in an attempt to overtake him on the inside, just like we've done here. Unfortunately, this third place didn't last long as 
as we get our breaking all wrong with a bit of contact from Sai. We lose a position to him again. Yeah, that was coming. Fighting between me and Sai continues, which begins to benefit Jockey with his half second penalty. However, as you're about to see, this doesn't really matter because Sai is going to get his breaking zone all wrong and Move slam into the side of Jockey, away. allowing us to gain both positions. That penalty is pointless. Wow, okay. I'm not sure there's anything we could have done about that, to be honest. Someone just gone into the pits. Some of you might have noticed that the pink Porsche wow. behind okay. us, clearly unsighted by what's just happened, and ends up sending himself into the pit lane. For lap five, we end up breaking far too early for turn one, and we end up allowing Goose back into contention. Oh, Goose is back. That was a shocking first, first turn. Whoa, okay, mate. Just force you wide then if you're going to be like that. Now, unfortunately, forcing him wide sort of compromised our exit, so this allows him to get a switch back on us. As we're around in the final corner, Goose makes a mistake, allowing us to have a run on him on the inside, heading into turn one. But unfortunately, we both get our braking zones all wrong, and I end up sending him a lot wider than I actually anticipated, so we move over to the right just to give him a bit more room. Heading into the final half of the track now, Again, we make a hash of our braking zone here. It's the second time we've done that this race, and this allows Goose back in. Fortunately, with a bit of contact, and then this incites us, and we do end up going off track. Oh my! After this mistake from me, I'm just expecting to finish the race in third place. However, Goose makes a complete hash of the final corner. Oh, oh that's a penalty. Unlucky, pal. Unlucky. I think that's all we can do for the Red Bull ring with the Group 3 cars. We'll focus on the Grand Valley Highway 1. Now, I don't have a lot of experience at Grand Valley, so the first race, even though it is absolute carnage on the first lap, it does turn out to be quite successful. Now, as we're heading around the first hairpin, we managed to get a better exit than Strofu. There's one place we've made up already. We've been really mindful as we're coming down the hill here just to not make any contact with anyone and focus on getting our breaking point right and avoid any carnage that will be ahead of us. As we almost mess up our breaking point, end up going into the back of the car in front and receive a bump from the side, but we still end up coming away uh, having made up three places. Now we're just being mindful here as uh, Royal almost catches us off guard here by Whoa. breaking. Give him a bit of a bit of an unnecessary bump there, but as we head round this right-hander, we uh, make up another spot because Harris has gone off and hit the wall. As we're heading up to the tunnel, we are right at the back of Radid. and as we get to the chicane section here. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether I actually made contact with him there or not, or whether that was to do with the curbs. But we get alongside him, and I'm being really mindful here to uh, give him room on the bridge as we end up clipping the wall. As me and Medeed are side by side, this allows Royal behind us to get quite a strong slipstream and just comes out of nowhere, flies past us. Where's he come from? And now on the second lap, we are heading up to the second hairpin. Balash in front goes a bit deep, and we end up going side by side with him. We 
with his Versace livery on his Huracan. He gets a little bit imp impatient here on Royal and ends up sending it up on the inside, which sends them both wide, and uh, I scoot up the inside of both of them. That's a nice move. But again, Balash gets his braking zone all wrong and gives us a bit of a bump. <sighs> Why? Oh, that's a penalty. Why am I following him? And now we are at the start of lap three and now it's my turn to get my braking zone all wrong and I end up slamming into the back of Balash, picking ourselves up a four second penalty, which is thoroughly deserved. Oops. Yeah, that is deserved. <laughs> wow. It's now time for us to serve our four second penalty, so let's see how many spots we end up losing. Three, four, five positions we end up losing. After we end up serving our penalty, we do end up behind Radid again, and we are tucked up behind him in his slipstream, hoping to get the overtake done, which we do manage to do. I think he lets us have that one, to be honest. As we now fast forward to the end of the lap, and we are catching up to our friend Balash once again, hoping to get in his slipstream in the tunnel and on the final straight. Come on, we can get him here. But we do end up giving him a bump. Not anymore. Which ends up slowing us down and speeding him up. So we'll have to stick with 11th place. And at the end of our first race on Grand Valley Highway, we end up making up four positions. Oh, wow. So tune four in for the next positions. video to see how we get on with our four qualifying laps. Let's get to do some qualifying laps now. <laughs> 